Hello YouTube, thank you for stopping by. As always, please click like if you happen to enjoy this video, please click on subscribe, and if you would like to be notified when I publish future videos, just click on that bell-shaped notify button. Additionally, I'd love to hear from you, so be sure to leave a comment and please share this video with anyone you think might also enjoy it. Alrighty then. In this video, I'm taking the wheel from a bus-sized RV and turning it into an interchangeable tool stand which is based on hitch receivers. It can be used as a grinder stand, a bench vise stand, or any other tool that I want to use with this mounting system. The tools that I use with this interchangeable tool mounting system each get a base plate with a two inch by two inch square tube welded to the bottom of their mounting plate. And that tube then slides into the two and a half inch by two and a half inch square tube hitch receivers that I use around my shop. I can move the tools around wherever I need them, or I can remove them completely, quickly and easily, if a tool is in my way. I have a couple hitch receivers mounted to each end of my workbench. I have a bunch of hitch receivers on my armoring stake cart. And although I already have another tool stand made from a wheel, I decided I wanted something a bit beefier with more mass, hence this project. Okay, let's get started. So this wheel is uh, from a bus-sized uh, RV, uh, basically a bus that was converted into a recreational vehicle. It is uh, 26 inches in uh, diameter, 10 inches tall. And this is gonna be the base for a post stand for that new vice or for whatever other tools I decide to put on it. Um, you know, it'll be interchangeable. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it up a bit uh, so that I can weld a 12-inch uh, plate, 12-inch round plate to it, and that'll be the support. Uh, it'll be a half-inch thick plate. Uh, so let's get to cleaning it up.
Anyways, you get the idea. This is a simple and very flexible way to deal with bench-mounted tools when you have a limited amount of workspace. Okay, I guess that's it for this video. Remember, please click like if you happened to enjoy this video. If you haven't done so already, I'd really appreciate it if you would please click on subscribe. And if you would like to be notified when I publish future videos, just click on that bell-shaped notify button. Additionally, I'd love to hear from you, so please be sure to leave me a comment and please share this video with anyone you think might enjoy it as well. Bye for now. Hi.